guys, it's me with another video review for you. I'm going to review the new basic Jackson Jekyll doll um, that has just hit stores. You may recall the other reincarnations of Jackson. We have his basic beach Barbie or beach doll look and his uh, Holt Hyde look, my favorite. Um, but now we're going to put these two aside and talk about the newest Jackson Jekyll, which is his basic doll comes with uh, his pet chameleon right over there named Crossfade. Awesome name. Uh, blue tennis shoes, gray pants, lovely argyle sweater there. Uh, and it's kind of cool how, how similar he looks to his cartoon persona. It's just really kind of neat. Back of the box is your basic back of the box. It very coolly uh, introduces Rochelle and Venus and Rebecca. So Hopefully, it means they're coming out soon and will be readily, easily accessible <laughs> for people to find. So I'm going to go ahead and open this guy and then come back to you. I have opened Mr. Jackson Jekyll here. Um, just my first impression of him is that he's actually a really cool doll. I wasn't as excited about him just seeing his picture. I didn't even know if I wanted him, but he actually is kind of cool. Um, First off, the first thing I noticed immediately was that he has wrist joints, so he can actually carry things. One of my big problems with the boy dolls so far is that they don't have wrist joints, they just have the elbow joint, so they couldn't really, you know, pose as easily as the girls could, but he actually has wrist joints, so he can actually hold things. That makes me very happy. Um, love the glasses, I think they're awesome, and I actually like the little yellow tint to his hair. The rest of it's all black, um, which is kind of nice. Again, with the boys, you don't have to worry so much about having uh, the highlights look different on every single doll, so, but I like how his hair was cut. Um, the downside, however, is that there's a lot of, you can't see them with the camera, there's a lot of hairs that were trimmed off of the doll prior to being put in the box that are still attached to him. It's like they didn't, they could have taken a brush to the ear portion of this of his mold and at least taken the hairs off like they do at beauty parlors. You know, it's a small problem, but it still kind of bugs me. As you can see, he's wearing his gray pants, his um, yellow shirt, yellow is his favorite color, his green bag, it actually opens so you can stash something small. He doesn't come with a cell phone. Uh, so don't expect one of those. He does, however, come with his little pet chameleon. Overall, I have to say, I I do quite like this Jackson. I like him more than this one. Uh, this one is just kind of basic. His hair uh, isn't my favorite either. It, you can tell that they did change some of the styling, um, but I definitely prefer this guy over him. Um, oh, also, I like the little detail with his shirt. I double checked the box. This is supposed to be uneven. It's supposed to be the belt and then he forgot to tuck this little yellow portion of his shirt into his pants there. So I really like that attention to detail. I just wish they had combed some of the, you know, some of the hair, leftover hair off of him before sticking him in the box. Overall though, he's actually pretty cool and I, I'm looking forward to taking some photos with him, especially now that he's easier to pose. So um, check your local stores for Jackson Jekyll. He should be popping up pretty much everywhere. He's not exclusive to any specific store. And keep on checking this channel for more Monster High reviews and other dollar reviews as well. So um, I will see you later.